The other thing about depression is it kind of collapses time. Everything's so twisted and it's hard to explain. Suddenly, you find your whole days blending together to create one endless and suffocating loop. How can people like us, with fucked up brains like ours, how do we know what love is? So you find yourself trying to remember the things that made you happy. What's it gonna take, Kelly? What's it gonna take for you to start valuing your life? But slowly, your brain begins to erase every memory that ever brought you joy. I'm gonna kill myself. And me? You can do that to me? I can't take another funeral. You can't avoid it. And eventually, all you can think about is how life has always been this way. And will only continue to be this way. I've only just found out how dangerous this is. I could kill you. Then let me die! <sighs> I'm fine. Yeah, aside from the not sleeping, the jumpiness, constant overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. You okay? I'm supposed to say yes. That's what the nice girl always says, but... No, I'm not. I, I want to be. I thought I could be, but it's too much, too fast. Aren't you? Betty. You know, ever since we were little, I would get this feeling like... Like I'm floating outside of my body, looking down at myself. I want to go in this bed tonight. Suicides can cluster in families, especially twins. If they lose a twin, the odds go up. He may not be planning to come home. I'm done. I've had enough. Dad, I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this. I don't want to live like this anymore. How do you keep going when the worst thing has happened? What do you have to change inside to survive? The absolute worst part of depression. <laughs> you did this to me! That even though you know you're depressed, you're unable to stop yourself from getting worse. And I don't know how to change it. And I'm so scared. <laughs>